Hello everyone, welcome back to Simulated Heaven, and I'm in a game called Forestry 2017, The Simulation. Uh, this is a game which is published by UIG, um, and I have a few years back I've played previous versions of this game. It used to be called Woodcutter Simulator, um, and way back then the game was, was okay, it did have issues though, the driving was awful, and the game was very boring because you ended up having to do the same thing again and again and again. And with the recent inclusion or relatively recent inclusion of woodcutting in Farm Simulator 2015, it kind of made the idea of that game obsolete because who would do the tedious like woodcutting stuff in that game? rather than in Farm Sim 2015. So I thought I'd just take a quick look at the latest version of this game and see if they have um, made the game more compelling. So as with quite, as with quite a lot of UIG uh, made games, we can say that, oops, we can say that um, the graphics are okay, passable, they don't look particularly good. The frame rate seems to be hovering at a decent, solid frame rate. I mean, I would say they have improved the graphics ever so slightly, but it still is not a great looking game, is it really? Um, yeah, so this is our environment. We have got a map. Uh, the map is a bit hard to read or it's a bit zoomed out. Um, essentially, the things we need to worry about is where all the trees are. You can see the kind of weird tree icon is where all, all of the trees are. There's a motel. There is a, a depot where you sell your logs. And there's also a real estate agent. I can see all those things on the map. So, yeah. Oh, and also, there's a. Oh, the horseshoe icon is obviously where my horse is. So, early on in the game, they give you a horse. And it says here, your horse, you can use him to drag tree trunks from the forest to the sawmill. So, let's just show you, like, the basic kind of game mechanic at the start of the game. What you'll do is you'll get on your horsey. So it's quite interesting you have a horse this time. In previous versions of the game, you would actually have a tractor at the beginning or some kind of vehicle. In this, they give you a horse. So, yeah. I suppose it's a slightly different way to start. Well, the graphics and animations are not horrible. You know, they're relatively okay, relatively passable. So the idea is you come here and you exit like this out of your horsey. You, you pick up your lovely um, chainsaw. You right click and then you left click. And I would say they've made this even easier than on previous versions of the game. In that... It seems that the chainsaw doesn't even have to be that close. You see? Even like that, look. So it kind of gives you a lot of room for error. And it means that when you're cutting... When you are cutting, it's... It's a lot faster. Okay, so now what you do is you use your horsey, you go like this, and again, they've kind of made this quite easy. If I was just to left click now, maybe not now, maybe now, there you go. So kind of, if you get anywhere in the area of a log, it will automatically pick it up, which I suppose is okay, because you don't want it to be very tedious, you know, where you have to line it up every time perfectly. So yeah, the only thing is obviously with this way, you can only only pick up one 
log at a time. And as you saw there, we have a few. So then you will bring over here. And then you will drop the trunk. And we will earn 348. Oh, we have a light. So we have a light as well. Oh, love it. Actually, the light doesn't look too bad, does it? It looks a bit like a torch. We can also switch view. Ooh, first person view. Let's try that again. In first person view. Hello, horsey. Let's go pick up another log. We can't seem to run any faster than that. That seems to be the full ex the full ex extent, even, if I can speak. The full extent of our speed. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Anyway, let's pick up one more log. And you see, we don't even have to slow down. It's quite an easy process. Ooh, am I gonna? Maybe I, I will level up after this. Nah, <laughs> that would be nice, wouldn't it? Is it getting dark already? I think it is. Okay, so we'll drop this. Yay, we leveled up. Wicked. There is some kind of like uh, skill point, so. Workaholic increases the speed at which staff produce. Miser reduces expenditures and purchase prices. Salesperson increases income from sales. Charisma staff wages drop early bird. The day starts earlier. I'm going to go for salesperson. Two points in that. I'm assuming that means we'll get more money for each log we sell. Okie dokie. So. Yes. So this is obviously the sawmill where, as you saw, you, you saw me sell stuff here. That looks like it's just for show. Maybe this as well is just for show. I don't know, man. It would be nice to actually use some kind of machinery wouldn't it to actually like do stuff hmm okay how about in here what's in here like I said according to the map there's not a lot is there really according to the map over here we've got a real estate agent apparently so let's go have a look see what that is all about See? Real estate. Hmm. Lovely. This is the real estate agent. A number of options are available here to grow your business. Okay, lovely. Okay, so I can lease a garage for 250 credits a day. You can buy useful vehicles and vehicle equipment here. Home office. You can manage staff and accept assignments here. Office level 7. Office at the sawmill. You can manage staff. Uh, production. You can produce a number of items here. Okay, so it looks like there might be some kind of progression at least. Here you can view, view and sell your warehouse stock. Okay. I suppose, I suppose we should go for the first option, right? Oh, so I need more experience to do this. Oh, so I need to be level 3. Okay, fair enough. So I need to... Maybe uh, pull over a few more of these logs in order for that to work. I'm not going to do that now. I'll do that off video. Right. There's not really a lot else. Oh, there's a motel. Let's go look at the motel because that's literally the only other thing on here. Right. So let's go look at the motel. And I'm sure if there's anything else to show you, it will be obvious because it seems like they have labelled. I mean, all this stuff I'm assuming is just here for show, but maybe when you have levelled up, you may be able to, like, use more of the buildings, like warehouses, factories and stuff. Some lovely vehicles over here. Yeah. I mean, like I said at the start, I do feel they've made some kind of graphical improvements, but... 
it still is not really a 2016 level of game. You know, it's it is improved, but the games were so awful anyway with the the graphics that yeah they've improved, but they're still way behind what you would expect of a game in 2016. And you know, like the town area is like a ghost town. What is that? Basically, it's like a ghost town. It's a bit like a zombie apocalypse, and you're using like you're making money after the zombie apocalypse by being a woodcutter you know because it's like an empty town so yeah they still have a lot to work on jerseys toys and then they put a picture here which is supposed to look like a reflection of a high street hmm that looks kind of lazy doesn't it and then oh so this is the actual entrance to the toy shop and why does it say yen? So it looks like they've, they've basically just taken a stock photo. I don't know why there'd be a yen thing in the corner. Anyway, yeah. I suppose you can't expect the best. Well, I suppose from a distance it looks okay. I suppose. But they've been churning out these games. Like, you would have thought they would like improve them. Make them... Like I said at the start, make them more compelling because you can actually do the woodcutting stuff in farm sim and it's actually relatively fun and you can get a lot of vehicles from various mods and stuff. No, we can't go in the church, so in this game you can't be religious. Daily balance. Okay, so we did make money, didn't we? Yes, we made some money. Okay, next day. Oh, it's light again. Let's turn off the light. Fabulous. Ooh, there's graffiti. So the game does at least have graffiti. That's good. And like weird record shops. Re weird low... No, it's a bookshop. Low pixelated bookshops. <laughs> this actually doesn't look too bad, but the actual thing where it's a shop is kind of lazy and weird looking. But hey, yeah. What do you expect? I sometimes wonder how UIG are actually making any any money, really, because, um, yeah, they're not exactly the producers of the best games in the world, are they? Anyway, I got a bit sidetracked. Where's the motel? I went, I totally went past it, I think. Anyway, mm, look at that. I wonder if you can actually explore, like, the mountains, maybe in the future, when I have some kind of vehicle, that would be nice. Actually, I saw that UIG released their latest farm simulator on Xbox One, which I thought was quite interesting. Let's go down here, because we didn't go down here before. Which I thought was quite interesting. Frankly, I mean, I used to used to cover those farm sim, their version of farm sim, like professional farm, whatever they call it. After a while, kind of gave up, because every year was kind of the same deal not much improvement and still way behind farm sim like who would play those games up over farm sim i really don't know anyway we're hoping that this game might have at least shown some kind of improvement there is stuff over there but the map hmm i'm kind of wondering if this is the large like is this the whole entirety of the map i think it might be from what I could remember with the first game, I wouldn't be surprised. Right, let's have a look. So the motel is this tiny little place here then, is it? How does that work? So it, it is my... Oh, we can go inside the motel. Okay. And there's like a fridge. A very big fridge. Either that or I'm a dwarf. Oh, interesting. Here you can go to sleep after 19. After 19 to end the day. I think it means after... Seven o'clock in the evening. I want to have a bath, though. Let's have a bath. Yeah. Oh, that toilet is disgusting. What kind of motel is this? Seriously. They should, like, hire a cleaner. Like, this must be the cheapest hotel or motel ever. Yeah, look at that view of the road, eh? Perfect. <laughs> so, yeah, this is interesting. So, obviously, you can sleep here. 
when it gets to night time uh yeah so you live in a motel interesting but obviously so i'm gonna like stop the video there there isn't anything else marked on the map so i'm assuming that means there's not yo oh, look at this it is a zombie apocalypse this car looks remarkably like a very small car for a dwarf they don't seem to have got some of the proportions correct like the houses and things seem kind of okay but this is like really small like a baby car that's really weird anyway yeah so there isn't anything else marked on the map so i believe i have looked at everything so far so off video i'll try to level up and I'll try to get the the garage and maybe try to buy some vehicles and I'll make another video after that. Basically, this is going to be kind of a, a let's play. It's not going to be mega long. I will just make a video every time that I can show you some kind of progression. So thanks for watching this video as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.